objective is to do it in this lifetime. And then, of course, we get into more complicated things like um, uh, reincarnation, et cetera, et cetera. And in Egypt itself is the path of Horus, which becomes Christianity, and the path of Osiris, which is that of, of successive incarnations, which is similar to, the, not identical to, the Vedic root of the Indian path. But all of this is a kind of, um, it's a degenerate stage of the process. The objective is to do it in this lifetime. And then, of course, we get into more complicated things like um, uh, reincarnation, et cetera, et cetera. And in Egypt itself is the path of Horus, which becomes Christianity, and the path of Osiris, which is that of, of successive incarnations, which is similar to, the, not identical to, the Vedic root of the Indian path. Civilization their roots in Egypt, but aren't we going to discover that our path will be doing with John Anthony West. John, just before the break, we were talking about this incredible process of change that's going on in our planet right now. And I hate to look at things in terms of black and white, but you know, as we as we look around the world, fascism is, is making a comeback. The Great Book of Horrors, the Book of Revelation, is featured on the news almost nightly now. These news shows don't ask if we are in the end times; they promote it. And all kinds of groups are vying for the mantle of this. This is a fabrication by 19th century historians. The key book of that is, is Martin Bernal's Cornell, Cornell scholar, uh, Black Athena, the Afro-Asiatic Roots of Greek Civilization. It's quite clear from this book, and, and Bernal is not even into the metaphysical side of things. He's, he's much more practical, sociological, and so on. But it's a very important book, and basically he proves that 19th century history, or what we think of as history, is a 19th century Eurocentric white supremacist con job. In other words, civilization has to come from Europe, and it has to be white, and the Greeks are white enough. They're sort of swarthy little guys compared to Swedes and Norwegians, but at least they're European, and they're not Arabs or Jews or blacks or anything like that. This is a fabrication by 19th century historians of the key book of that is, is Martin Bernal's Cornell, Cornell Scholar. The civilization began, begins in Greece, which is really quite new. I mean, this is a 19th century, this is a, this is a fabrication by 19th century historians. The, the key book of that is, is Martin Bernal's Cornell, Cornell Scholar, the Black Athena, the Afro-Asiatic Roots of Greek Civilization. It's quite clear from this book, and and Bernal is not even into the metaphysical side of things. He's, he's much more practical, sociological, and so on. But it's a very important book. And basically, he proves that 19th century history, or what we think of as history, is a 19th century Eurocentric white supremacist con job. In other words, civilization has to come from Europe, and it has to be white, and the Greeks are white enough. They're sort of swarthy little guys compared to... Swedes and Norwegians, but at least they're European and they're not Arabs or Jews or blacks or anything like that. And civilization began begins in Greece, which is really quite new. I mean, this is a 19th century. This is a, this is a fabrication by 19th century historians. The, the key book of that is, is Martin Bernal's Cornell, Cornell scholar, the Black Athena, the Afro-Asiatic Roots of Greek Civilization. It's quite clear from this book and. And Bernal is not even into the metaphysical side of things. He's, he's much more practical, sociological, and so on. But it's a very important book. And basically, he proves that 19th century history, or what we think of as history, is a 19th century Eurocentric white supremacist con job. In other words, civilization has to come from Europe, and it has to be white, and the Greeks are white enough. They're sort of swarthy little guys compared to... Swedes and Norwegians, but at least they're European and they're not Arabs or Jews or blacks or anything like that. And so 